What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I haven't been able to say that in a month or maybe less than a month, but I'm glad to finally say it again. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just been a while. Most of the videos have been pre-filmed, so I'm happy to be filming again. But today I'm more excited because me and my friend Becca from Becca with a Book have an announcement that we have created a hockey-related readathon. So the readathon is called Slapshot Readathon. It is happening from October 2nd to October 8th because that is the first week of the regular season for the NHL, which I am so excited about because I am having hockey withdrawal and three months is just too long and I just need hockey. Um, even though preseason is happening soon, but I just need it. Like, I crave it and I'm going through withdrawal. So that's why I created this readathon with Becca. I am so excited for this, mainly because this is Becca and I's first time ever hosting a readathon or creating one. So I thought that would be really fun. And she really likes hockey. I obviously love hockey. It's in the name. It's my brand. Um, and I didn't know how many hockey fans were also in the book community until I created a Twitter and it blew up. So that was a pretty long intro, so I'm just gonna get right into the challenges. And I want to talk about Twitter sprints and things like that. Go and follow the Twitter. It is at Slapshot Read. All of the links will be down below. Um, just follow for the Twitter sprint schedule and if you want recommendations and things like that because a lot of people have been hype over there so definitely go and follow it if you haven't. So right now I'm gonna get into the challenges because that was a really long intro and I'm sure you're curious of what the challenges are. You don't have to complete all the challenges. You don't even have to do the challenges. You can just pick the books you want to read and read them. But if you do want to do the challenges, you can double up, you can triple up. I don't care. Just that you're reading hockey books, like that's the whole premise of the readathon. So first are the achievements and these are like what you are striving to achieve. So if you're trying to read three books, you are going to be striving to get a hat trick. So if you get a hat trick, we're going to throw all of our hats at you and you're going to be able to complete that challenge. Next, if you want to read five books, you're going to be trying to complete the five hole. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> um, next is Too Many Men, and that is if you read six books. Those are just some little challenges. You don't have to complete them. Like I said, you don't have to complete any of the challenges. These challenges I'm not even completing. I'm only going to have four books on my TBR, and my TBR will be up next week. So definitely look out next Wednesday. It'll be up. So now I'm going to just talk about all the challenges. All the challenges are inspired by hockey terms. So the first one is a celly, which if you don't know what that is, a celly is just when you score and then you celebrate and usually you put your leg up in the air or something like that. And that is to read an anticipated read. I was informed that a book comes out the day of the readathon which is a hockey book and it is called Michigan vs the boys it is on that Goodreads list and so if you would like to read it as an anticipated read if it is perfect for this challenge I'm probably going to be going with Bear Town because I just haven't completed it and Reggie is probably looking at me like bro read it so I am gonna read it it's fine <laughs> um okay um Next is Face Off, and that is to blindly pick a book. Um, you can pick two books, have Instagram, have like your mom, have your boyfriend, your cat, someone pick. Um, so just blindly pick a book. Um, and yeah, that's it. Honestly, you could probably flip a coin or something like that. Anything works. Next is Pond slash Pipe, and that is to read a book with a puck, a stick, or a net on the cover. I'm sure most hockey books have that on them, so I'm sure that this will be an easy challenge to complete. The next challenge is Zamboni, and that is to read a graphic novel. And here's my recommendation. Either you have never heard of this book and you're living under a rock, or you just have never been to my channel before. Um, I'm about to make your life great and you're gonna love me for this. So here we have Check Please by Nagazi Akazo and I 
love this book. The next one is coming out in 2020, but it is a webcomic. This is about Biddy, who is a hockey player. He is starting his freshman year. He loves to bake and he is a vlogger. This is one of my favorite graphic novels. And as we don't have many books about hockey, this is one I recommend for you to check out. Next is sweater, and that is to read a book while you are wearing a hockey-related shirt or jersey. I'm wearing my Claude Giroux shirt right now, hence the C and this. As a hockey fan, I'm sure you have some piece of hockey-related clothing because most of my wardrobe is that, um, so I am really excited for this challenge. And the last challenge is the great one slash Wayne Gretzky, and that is to read a hockey-related non-fiction book. So those were all of the challenges for the Slapshot Readathon. I am so excited, and I hope you are as excited as I am. Let me know in the comments if you are going to participate, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter for more updates. The Twitter sprint schedule is still being finalized, so that will be up on Twitter. Definitely come and join us if you want to just be encouraged to read more and have a lot of fun with us. The hosts right now are me and Becca. Currently the Twitter Sprint hosts that I have are Wolfie from Silly Little Ravenclaw or now their channel is a Starlight System and they are a big Washington Capitals fan and I talk about hockey with them all the time so I knew that they had to be on board for this readathon. I also have Ellie from The Little Librarian. She is a big St. Louis Blues fan who just celebrated their first Stanley Cup win and I knew I had to ask Allie as well. And then I have Sarah from Sarah Reads Things and she said she's a really big hockey fan so all of their links will also be down below. And like I said, just follow Twitter so that you can be updated for everything. And I hope you will join us. I am very excited for this readathon if you couldn't tell. Um, and it will come back if we get feedback, like if people enjoyed it, maybe we'll come back for the Stanley Cup round and everything like that. So we'll see. If you guys enjoy it, then we'll try and bring it back um, if schedules permit and everything like that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you're excited for the readathon and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. I have a hockey related video so I'll try and link it down below or link it in the cards. I sorted hockey players into Hogwarts houses so if you're a hockey fan I highly recommend to go and watch that video. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon so if you would like to support this channel and all of my videos and my creations so that we could have more things like this I highly recommend for you to go over there. Thank you all for watching. My name's Alex and I'll see you next time. Bye.